All right, guys. I'm gonna be making a YouTube video here. Uh, so this is not gonna be a stream. Um, this is just gonna be showcasing uh, Sigma Noctantis. I wanna show y'all how you guys can build this. This is my favorite melee weapon right now. I have not made a YouTube video in a while. Um, but this is gonna be this weapon is very good. So first, I'll show you guys the build that I have. Um, so. Uh, I can show you without Valkyr buff, and then I can show you with it, but, uh, so, it's, it, it's gonna be kinda expensive, um, I got, well, it's, okay, not formal-wise, but, uh, the mod, Weeping Wounds is kind of expensive, you know, Condition Overload's expensive, Berserker, I'm not sure, Drifting Contact, you can get that from a Nightmare Mission, I got one the other day, I sold it, it's not that expensive, I thought I sold it for, like, they're 10 or 15 plat. Oops, I'm getting a call. Sorry about that. Um, and the rest of the... Oh, Blood Rush, too. I forgot about Blood Rush. So, <laughs> this this is actually... Um, and you need to complete the, um, you know, the story for that. Uh, up to... What's it called? Uh, the one with the Excalibur Prime for this. So, yep. And just the base um, stance. I don't think... I don't have any other ones, so, you know. But it's... I, I really like this weapon. It's, I don't, I wouldn't say it's the best weapon in the world, but it is definitely one of my favorites. Um, here, I'll, I'm going to spawn in um, level 130 Corrupted Heavy Gunners. Normally, I keep them paused. Um, yes, I know that adds a melee bonus, and I actually do have Steel Charge on, so if I recommend playing with Falkir. I can do it without... Um, I can do it without the um, Valkyrie buff right now, but as you can see, I absolutely just, you know, that that guy is just done right there, and that was just one dude, but, and this is without the buff, too. Once I buffer, you see already I'm, I'm at nine times combo, and I have, like, I'm hitting orange crits. Now I'm hitting red crits at 11, and, I mean... You know, I, I can turn them on, but it'll just make it take longer because they all, like, spread out. So, I'll turn it on after this, um, and we'll show you. Like, I'll show you the buff when it's paused, and then, like, the Valkyrie buff when it's paused, and then I'll show you the regular, um, I, like, there's also a really cool combo, which is the L2. Like, I'm playing on PlayStation, so it's, like, L2, um, forward and circle, uh, and you just die forward like that. It's actually stupid. And with the um, Valkyrie buff, it's like literally dumb as fuck. Like you, you just, you literally, <laughs> you fly so fast. Like it's, it's stupid. But this literally, this weapon, it actually, you know, shreds pretty easily whenever you have um, all this, all these buffs and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and do a Sylvan Aegis or not Sylvan Aegis. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna try and do a Kuva Shield deck build. Or I'll do one um, probably later today, maybe. But that is without the buff, and that is with them um, on um, or er, paused. So this is I only have 19. Um, I could do 20, but I mean, for some reason, like one always like falls off. So 19 is enough. I mean, it it shows you how good it is either way. But I'll show you with the buff now. This buff is actually stupid. Um, actually, I could show you my Valkyrie build just. Um, just so you know what I did. It's not, um, I don't, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, prime continuity, uh, prime flow, basic, uh, intensify, blind rage. I don't have that fully upgraded. It doesn't even need to be like, all my mods aren't even fully upgraded. It's, if you have the fully upgraded versions, great. That's even better. Um, but this works, this build works just fine for me. You know, the, the stats over here. You don't really need that much efficiency. That's why I have flow on, um, and then range doesn't really matter because I'm only using it really for the Eternal War thing, which is a really good augment. I recommend you pick it up. I had my friend trade it to me because I'm Steel Meridian Arbiters of Hexus and Cephalon Suda. So yeah, I also have Steel Charge on. Um, I'm not going to show it to you without Steel Charge. That's just an extra hassle. I mean, it it adds a good, it adds a decent amount, but like, if you're using Valkyrie, you're gonna want, you're probably gonna be using Steel Charge. I could use, um, what's it called? Uh, I need to find it. Uh, Swift Momentum? Yes, I could use Swift Momentum. 
but uh, I mean, I don't know. That's not as good in my opinion. All right, now I can show you guys the um, I can show you the buff. So here we go. Here's the Warcry buff, and now, as you can see, it is really quick. Like I'm already at four times combo counter, and I'm just doing slide attacks because that's just I'm used to doing that because of the spin and the win met up a while a long time ago but um yeah i'm hitting red crits at 11 times combo counter and i'm already like these enemies are not <laughs> gonna last very long um and i show you the weird ass combo you literally just like look at that that's actually stupid like you just dive at them and they're just screwed you know like that's pretty quick and now there's just these last enemies here. It's, so, yeah. Of course, they are paused. I'll show it to you not paused um, after. And then, um, yeah, that'll be it for the video. But it's it's not. It doesn't need to be that long. Um, but yeah, um, that's that with the buff. It went way quicker because obviously the attack speed is a lot faster. But yeah. So now I can um, unpause them. And actually, I'm gonna go into the arsenal so I can reset the abilities. And everything. Um, what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm going to uh, let's simulate the 19, and actually let's put on invincibility because I don't want to be dying, and I can unpause them. So this is without the buff. Um, unpaused. Now obviously it's not gonna be as good because they're not paused and they don't have the stealth bonus. But even so, there's st it's still shredding. You know, the stealth. I don't even know how big the stealth bonus actually is. So, it, it like even though it does give obviously a buff, like it's it's not that you know. I, it, it can't be that much because it's still like even though they're not paused, it's literally still shredding. So, um, like I don't. I don't know. It, it it works plenty good. And, like, yeah, this weapon is going to be kind of hard to obtain. Um, like, it's... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's 300-day reward. I got it um, maybe a week ago? A week? A week and a half ago? Um, but, yeah. And, I mean, yeah, I love this weapon. So, that's all of them. Um... Now we can do the um, buff. So let's put the buff on. And now we can just go ham. And I think I already had the 12 times combo counter on. Um, so, I mean, obviously if you're starting this up without combo, it'll take a second to build up combo. But as you can see, this weapon absolutely shreds. And it is one of... It is definitely my favorite weapon that I have, um, and I have quite a bit of melee weapons, um, a lot of them actually, more than I thought, actually have, um, catalysts on them, I did not realize how many I have that actually have catalysts, um, but, yeah, so this weapon is a great weapon, I 10 out of 10 recommend, um, even if, like, I, I didn't really like sword and shields before, but, like, when I picked up this weapon, Ooh, I love this one. <laughs> I know, I've been saying that so much, but I, I really do. I, I think it's a great weapon. And um, it actually it has Slash as its best, um, as its most powerful type, so it's going to proc the most, I'm pretty sure. Which, as you can see, it's procking a lot of Slash, so that's obviously pretty good. So, I think that is pretty much it. I can show you the build one more time. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah. It's, you know, just, a. I mean, look at the stats, you know, like, or the damage. It doesn't even do that much damage. Like, only 600 total damage, 696. Like, that's not that much. But then when you add on, you know, condition overload and all this other crap on there, you know, that's, it's great. And the reason why I'm using Sacrificial Steel, um, as you can tell, if I was to put in, um, True Steel, it's only 120% crit chance, and this is 180, so, I mean, it's just, it's just better. Obviously, if I was to put in, um, Sacrificial Pet Pressure, it'd go up, but I would rather put in, 
condition overload because condition overload just works better. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, also, I don't have the 6060 toxin, so that's why I don't have that on. But I'm pretty sure if you didn't want to use free Fever Strike, um, you could just, or if you... If you have a 60-60 toxin, you can put that in. I think it would probably work better. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it will. I mean, because it'll add status, and that'll um, basically make it better for condition overload and weeping wounds. So, um, or not weeping wounds, <laughs> just condition overload. Anyway, I will um, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is just my showcase of the Sylvan Aegis. Um, or not Sylvan, sorry. Uh, Sigma Noctantis. Um... I hope I haven't been saying that wrong the whole time, <laughs> but it's a great weapon. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. I don't really know when I'm going to be streaming next, but uh, I'll just try and make a couple videos, you know, uh, showcasing some of my weapons and stuff, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.